the channel. As you guys know, we've had the McLaren for quite a while now. We've been having so much fun with it and we've been trying to accumulate parts. All the parts for this car are coming from out of the country, which has taken us a while, but probably the best and the most exciting other than the actual exhaust, I guess. The package just came in and I'm so, so stoked. Tim, are you ready for this, dude? Yes. I don't think you guys are ready for this right now. Okay, hold on, let me just, let me just tear into this. First of all, First of all, before we get into this video, if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the like button. If you guys are enjoying all the content on the channel, we have so much going on and it's so exciting. And I wanna give a big thank you to Chris over at Unobtainium Welding for, for helping us out here. And I actually got in touch with Chris a while ago about wanting an exhaust for McLaren because we've been planning on, on getting a McLaren for a while. And Chris is the one who helped us with the entire process, choosing what to get and what to do. And uh, this is all because of him. So. Is this an apron? <laughs> We're back, baby. Apron gang is back. Here we go. Only way to install what we have today is by wearing this apron. Boom! Anyways, wow, Chris, getting... thank you so much. This is so, so exciting. And I can't wait to show you all of you guys what's in here. Let's see what this little note says. Justin, I saw you making a mess of your white shirt cleaning the engine for the Z. <laughs> so I figured you could use an apron for the next time. Enjoy the downpipes. Yes, let's go. All right, guys, we're just gonna jump right into it. Oh, baby. Guys, so we are officially doing the unobtainium stainless downpipes on the 570. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why don't we have the exhaust? We do have the exhaust, but it just hasn't come in yet. And we actually have a very special kind of exhaust. So just today, we're gonna do the downpipe so we can go and get this thing tuned for when the exhaust comes and we can absolutely rip on it. But these are the very, very beautiful unobtainium welding stainless steel downpipes. I am beyond stoked to install these. So something that I think that is lacking on the car is definitely the exhaust. Upon like startup and like cold starts, the car sounds amazing. But as far as driver experience goes inside the car, you can't hear it at all. Especially if you guys watch the track day video, you have, it sounds like air on the inside of the car. And these downpipes with the exhaust is about to change everything and I am stoked. I'm gonna go ahead and leave Unobtainium Welding's website down in the description box below so you guys can check it out. They have tons of amazing products for all types of different cars on their site. And honestly, this is probably the best quality exhaust and downpipes you guys are gonna find. It speaks for itself really. So I'm gonna leave their link down in the description box below so you guys can check it out. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna I guess try and figure this out, right, Tim? I mean, yeah, it's... we. I have. This is scary. This is a McLaren. <laughs> <laughs> I've worked on JDM cars lots of lots of times, but as far as McLaren goes, I have no idea what the hell we're gonna get into here. So we're just gonna figure out as it goes. And I watched a couple of videos. It looks fairly simple enough, I guess. So I'm hoping that's not too terrible, but we're just gonna jump right into it. I figured before we actually install the downpipes, we're gonna go ahead and give you guys a little exhaust clip so you can hear how it sounds like with stock downpipes and stock exhaust. I just got wet and the camera got wet. <laughs> that sounds that sounds really nice. Yeah, it sounds that sounds good. really nice. What is it gonna sound like with downpipes and an exhaust? I'm gonna guess probably a third louder than that. <laughs> So for today's video, we are gonna keep the stock exhaust, which is crazy, crazy restrictive on these cars. But I think it'll be cool to split it into two so you guys can kind of hear how it sounds with just downpipes. And then when the exhaust comes in, it's gonna be freaking insane. So first things first, I wanted you guys to hear that. We're gonna go and figure out how to take off this carbon fiber backing. I'm pretty positive that we can actually just access everything we need to like right here, which is super cool. Um, but if not, then we're gonna have to, you know, do some unfun stuff underneath the car. But let's go ahead and figure out how to take this guy off and let's send it. So from what I can gather, 
These, these two bolts right here are literally the only thing holding this piece on. And you lift this guy and slide it, slide it back. Am I, is that yeah, that's what I've right? seen in videos that I've watched. There's not much, much on these cars, so <laughs> it's new to both of us. We're just gonna figure this freaking thing out. So we're gonna remove both of these guys and we're gonna try and take this carbon piece off. Unfortunately, we do have to actually put this thing on the lip, but it shouldn't be that bad. So you guys can see the exhaust is gonna be extremely, extremely easy for us to take off. We just literally have to remove the rear bumper and it's gonna slide out. But the downpipes, not so much. You guys can see it goes all the way underneath the water-cooled intercooler right there, so you guys can see that. And the cool thing about that is, I'm pretty positive if we lift this thing up, take the wheel off and remove the fender liner, we can access everything we need to for the downpipe right through here. So that's what we're gonna do. But overall, really shouldn't be that bad. Wow, I've never actually seen underneath this thing and it's a, just a flat bottom. <laughs> that's so sick, dude. Wow, that's pretty freaking gnarly. This is cool. It's a spaceship. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and rip these guys off and just tear into the fender liner. Great success. So we can fully access the downpipe now, as you guys can see. And uh, I guess we're gonna have to remove the heat shield before we actually take the downpipe off. And we have the O2 sensors right here as well. So overall, I mean, it doesn't look terrible, which I'm super happy about. So we're gonna go get started and we'll show you guys once we start pulling everything off. Guys, this was the most miserable downpipe uninstallation that we have ever done. Holy crap. Hey, I got the heat shields out now. <gasps> oh God, we still have a whole other side. How long do you think it's been, Tim? Just for a time reference. It's probably been like two minutes in the video and we've yeah. probably been here for about three hours. It's like two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Uh, but good news is look at this old janky. I'm very surprised at how rusty all of these bolts and stuff were for it being a McLaren, but we're replacing it anyway. So first stock down pipe is out. So we're gonna go ahead and compare this guy to the unobtainium. Here's our first look at what the stock down pipe looks like versus the beautiful immaculate unobtainium welding down pipe. This is gonna make such a huge difference. So we are gonna be using the stock heat shield for the unobtainium downpipe. And as you can see, they actually left us flanges to be able to use the, hot, the stock heat shield, which is super, super nice. So as much of a pain in the ass as it was to get this thing out, I'm hoping that's a little bit easier with this because it is a little bit smaller and easier to maneuver and stuff because we don't have the cat. So let's go ahead and throw her in. Wow, it takes a lot of a lot of power there, Tim. Fuck. Oh, success. Number two. It's only been like five hours. <laughs> this downpipe knocked the snot out of me, dude. <laughs> We're like 75% done. Yeah. 75% done. So now that this guy is out. We're gonna transfer the heat shield, just like the other downpipe, onto... I'm very curious to see the sound difference. This thing has two cats. So uh, we're gonna transfer over the heat shield, throw this guy back in, and before we actually button everything up, we're gonna give her a test start to make sure there's no leaks on the turbo side or on the exhaust side. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be good. Get, get this thing ready 
for the tune, Dino Day. See how much she makes. Okay, oh God, here we go. <laughs> Guys, f like seven hours later, but nonetheless, we have gotten both of the down pipes in. You guys can see right here. They're all tightened up top. Tim is underneath right now, and he is finishing up the clamp from the turbo to the down pipe. We just have to install the O2 sensors, and this thing is ready for the first startup. I'm so pumped. This is gonna sound so good, and this isn't even the end. We still have a full exhaust to do. Places we need to test by the turbo, and if you guys can see, right up where the exhaust meets the downpipe. Tim, is it time? Seven hours later, Tim. We did it. We hey, hey, it's not. It wasn't horrible. We just didn't know what we were doing. Yeah, if we knew, it was pretty. It was pretty horrible. It, it was pretty <laughs> horrible. Okay. It, it's been filming. Oh god. Oh god. Ugh. Oh, first startup, Tim. Okay, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Shit, dude. Oh, this is amazing. Unobtainium welding, guys. Game over. Game over. All right, wheels are on, fender liner's in, carbon top is in. We are good to go, everybody. <laughs> So obviously I can't really get on it until we get a tune, but oh my God, this thing is freaking sick, guys. So I'm gonna go home. And I'm gonna see what Tiana thinks about the downpipes. It's gonna be pretty insane. She thought it was loud before. Oh my God. All right guys, it is currently in the next day and it is so cold outside, but we are about to drop off the McLaren to the tuner because they have to mess with like the ECU and get some data logs and stuff. But Tiana has to drop me off and I want her reaction to the first start of the 570 because this thing's freaking insane. Okay, are you ready? Is it louder? I don't know, you have to wait and see. Uh, what are you expecting? I don't know. Okay. I just liked how it sounded before. Oh, just wait. You know? Here you go, have fun. All right. Oh my, no, I'm gonna pop an eardrum. Oh my gosh. Let's go! 
show the tuner. All right, we have made it to West Coast. This thing is off to Sheepy to go get the ECU pulled, and we have Dino Tune tomorrow. 